double tax relief uh, options available so double tax relief uh, uh, if uh, you are paying uh, tax either uh, in uk as well as uh, in overseas then you there are double tax relief available so it depending on the uh, types of relief available but uh, the double tax relief can be classified as it might be either treaty relief available if there are uh, treaties between two countries and unilateral relief so as far as uh, the treaty relief is concerned so it might be if there is a treaty it might be by one country reducing the rate of tax on the source of income or gain this is a type of treaty agreement similarly by one country exempting the source of income or gain from tax and by the uk the country in which the recipient is resident giving a tax credit for overseas tax suffered against uk corporate tax payable so these are the uh, the outcomes of a treaty between the other country but in case of unilateral relief uh, applies if no double tax treaty allow credit relief for overseas taxes and work in the same way as credit relief under treaties so the treaty is uh, the one of the method of treaty is exemption one of the method is uh, uh, reduction or deduction and uh, the tax credit method the calculation of uh, unilateral credit relief method all overseas income that we have to consider must be included gross it means that whatever tax is being deducted overseas you have to add it back so relief is available for overseas withholding tax as follows what is withholding tax any overseas tax deducted at source from the overseas income if the amount of wht is given add it back to the net income to make it gross income if the rate is given then gross up it as normal by considering the rate of deduction for example if the rate of deduction is uh, 20% then divided by 0.8 to make it the gross income the dtr that is the tax credit is the lower of where what is the over tax overseas tax suffered and uk corporate tax attributable to the overseas income for example if over overseas tax suffered is 10000 and uk uh, tax is uh, say suppose 12000 on overseas income then you will get the lower of 10000 you can get relief against the uk corporate tax uh, income journal loss reliefs are available in which is the current year carry forward and group relief and qcd relief can be offset in the most beneficial manner first against the uk source of income and then against the source suffering the lowest rate of overseas tax so if you are planning to offset the losses then this is the order that you have to consider that uh, first against the uk source then against the lowest rate of uh, overseas tax any unrelieved overseas tax excess overseas tax then if it is related to uh, on branch profit then carried back method can be used and it can be carry back uh, for uh, three years against uk corporation tax from same branch and it can be carry forward against the uk corporate tax on profit from the same branch so in the both cases the same branch concept is important and if it is excess overseas tax on rent on interest income then no relief is available now let's solve an example for example a is a uk resident company and the uk trading profit of a for the year ended march is 373684 it has an overseas subsidiary as well as a branch for branch the branch is controlled from overseas in its trading profit is this 
and the tax suffered is 26,000. While in case of overseas subsidiary, the UK company has 80% ownership. The company is resident overseas. UK company received dividend of 80750. Dividend was subject to withholding tax of 4250. Calculate corporate tax in UK for the year ended March 2020. Now we'll use a column wise approach to calculate the tax. Uh, now we know that, uh, that we have to consider the branch. Uh, so considering the branch, let's calculate the tax. So make uh, a column of uh, total UK and branch. Now let's work out the TTP. So the TTP of UK is 373.684 and 684.21. So total is 442.105. Now, the tax rate is 19% on UK, that is 71,000. And it's 19% uh, of branch, that is 13,000. Minus double tax relief. So let's work out double tax relief. So double tax relief is lower of income suffered overseas. So overseas, there was a tax of uh, 26,000 on corporate tax. And UK tax on income overseas, that is the branch uh, profit is 68,421 multiplied by 19%. We have already calculated 13,000. So the relief available is lower of 13,000 and the tax is 13,000. And the relief is also 13,000. So in case of DTR, see DTR is 13,000, whatever tax is applicable in UK. So you are getting the relief. So this is 13,000 and the total tax you have to pay in UK corporate tax liability is 71,000. This is 71,000 and this is 71,000. There is no double tax relief for the withholding tax suffered on the dividend received. Why? Because the dividend is a non-taxable item in UK. Let's see another example with some losses and foreign income. A UK resident company owns two overseas branches. One is Paris, other in Rome. Also owns 4% shares in Berlin, an overseas company and owns an overseas property from which it receives rental income. Following are the result for the year ended March tax adjusted trading profit of UK company overseas income from Paris branch profit 54,000 after withholding tax. So we have to gross it up Rome branch losses. This one rental income net of withholding tax dividend income from Berlin that is 2700 net of WHT calculate UK company tax payable for the year ended assuming overseas branch exemption election number one has not been made and number two you have made an election for the overseas branch now firstly assuming there is no election the same column wise approach first is uk profit other is uh, the income from Paris and the overseas rental income. Now, the first of all, the trading profit overall. So we have a trading profit uh, of UK is 38,000 profit receiving from Paris. So for Paris profit, so we have to uh, calculate the withholding tax, adjust the withholding tax. So we have to work, work it out. The overseas income. So it's overseas income and let's have overseas income calculation. 
so here the working one the paris profit second overseas is rental income the actual income given is uh, 54000 and 44457 and the tax suffered is uh, 40 percent and uh, 13 percent so you have to add w h t and that w h t is uh, how much w h t so that w h t is for example uh, in case of branch 40 percent tax has been suffered so this is the 60 percent value so we have to identify the w h t then it's uh, 40 divided by 40 60 it's 40 60 so as per the 40 60 rule you can just identify the withholding tax uh, this 54,000 is 60 percent so divided by 60 and multiply by 40 so it's like 40 divided by 60 it gives us a value of 36,000 similarly 13 percent withholding tax so this is the value so total gross up value is 90,000 and 51100 this is how you can directly gross it up so this is the gross up value put this gross up value here so in case of overseas income this is 90,000 and this is 51,100 so total is uh, 38,000 here and 141100 here now overseas branch loss so branch loss first branch loss election so we have uh, the branch loss is 50200 first offset against the uk income then the uh, lower tax value so the lower tax value is 12200 in this way we have ttp of uh, 90000 we have 38000 900 here it's zero and total is 1,28,900 so this is TTP now let's apply corporate tax on this TTP so corporate tax liability at the rate of 19% so we have 24,491 we have 17,100 and 7391 now for overseas we will get some double tax relief so for that double tax relief let's work out double tax relief dtr so dtr on paris profit dtr on rental income so we have uh, lower of overseas tax suffered so overseas tax paid is uh, the value that is calculated above 36000 and 6643 and uk tax on overseas profit this is uh, calculated here as uk tax 17173 17,107,391. You'll take the lower of value. The lower of value is 17,100 and 6,643. So 17,100 complete and 6,643. So the total is uh, 23,743. In this way, the corporate tax payable is 748, 748. So this is uh, if there was no election for the exemption. The overseas dividend is tax exempted. So there will be no DTR.
now if there is no election so let's just work it out here if no election rather if uh, exemption election has been made so in this case the branch is not considered as an extension so we have uh, total we have uk income and we have uh, rental income so trading profit trading profit of uk 38000 rental income as above the gross of value 51000 so trading income this is the overseas income so overseas income the gross of value as in the previous example so we have 38000 total we have 51100 so it's 51100 51100 as a result we have total income of 38000 51100 and uh, 89100 this is ttp now let's apply the corporate tax uk at the rate of 19% so it's seven two two zero and nine seven zero nine total is uh, one six one six nine two nine now let's work out the dtr available on that so dtr available so we have only rental income no branch loss relief is available there is no uk tax due on branch paris branch profit if it is covered by dtr so as far as rental income is concerned so uk tax on overseas income is 9709 and the income tax suffered overseas 6643 so the lower of value is 6643 put this here 6643 the dtr 6643 6643 it is against this 6643 so the remaining value is 7220 and uh, we have uh, 10286 and this is 3066 so as a result you can see that uh, the tax payable value is uh, one zero two eight six and previously uh, in the calculation it's seven forty eight so difference is nine five three eight so nine five three eight is the difference that is one zero two eight six minus seven forty eight is nine five three eight higher tax is to be paid if uh, there will be uh, difference in the exemption and this 9583 alternatively can be calculated as branch loss multiply by 19% so this is 9538